I'm currently editing an episode of Muhammad's Boom Boom Room. I should have it up by tomorrow morning. But tonight, uh, I wanted to post a quick video taking you on a trip to my world, Planet Dizzle. So get on board, step inside, soaring on a magic ride, roaring to the other side where only Pakistani thought police hide. Two days ago, I posted a video titled Pakistan bans embarrassing facts about Muhammad. It was about the Pakistani government banning my video about Muhammad getting caught having sex with one of his numerous slave girls in the bed of his wife Hafsa, then swearing by the great God Allah that he would never have sex with his slave girl again, and then breaking his oath and claiming that Allah ordered him to break it. I showed that all of this comes directly from Islam's most trusted sources, and yet Pakistan banned it. So Pakistan doesn't want people to know embarrassing facts about Muhammad. Sounds like a nation of Islamophobes. Anyway, I noticed several comments pointing out how hilarious it is that an entire nation is targeting my videos. These were comments like, when your video is banned in an entire country, you know you're doing something right. And you know you're making an impact when an entire country is after you, lol. The reason these comments are funny to me is that you guys have no idea how obsessed Pakistan is with D. Wood. I only shared one blocked video notification. Let me show you what life is really like. This is my inbox this morning. As you can see, it's a bunch of notifications from YouTube. We'll read one of them, since they're all basically the same, and then we'll just glance at the others to see which videos Pakistan is whining about this time. Here we go. Regarding your account, Act 17 Apologetics, we have received a legal complaint regarding your video from the government. After review, the following video, Muhammad Meets Socrates, Chapter 3, Muhammad's Boom Boom Room, has been blocked from view on the following YouTube country site, Pakistan. YouTube blocks content where necessary to comply with local laws. Please review our Legal Center article on legal complaints. Sincerely, the YouTube team. All right, let's zoom through my other daily notifications. My latest videos to be blocked by the glorious nation of Pakistan are Top Muslim channel declares Muhammad is God. Merciful servant goes full shirk. Interesting. That's a video showing that the top Muslim channel on YouTube actually claimed that Muhammad is Yahweh, the God of the Bible. Funny that my video exposing blasphemy is considered blasphemous by Pakistan, and yet the Muslim channel claiming that Muhammad is God is perfectly fine. Next, Muhammad meets the Joker, Muhammad's boom boom room. No mystery there, epic video. Next, Muhammad meets Stephen W. Hawking, Muhammad's boom boom room. No mystery there, although Muhammad did actually make some intelligent points in this video. I guess Pakistan is jealous that Muhammad's most intelligent statements ever are all found in an episode of Muhammad's Boom Boom Room. Next, Muhammad meets the Nation of Islam, Muhammad's Boom Boom Room. Wait, we exposed the heretical views of the Nation of Islam. You'd think that Orthodox Muslims would appreciate our work. Next, Top 10 Reasons Muhammad Was Not a Feminist. Seriously, Pakistan? You're mad that I showed that Muhammad was not a feminist? Are you trying to tell us that he was a feminist? Next, the logic of Prophet Muhammad and how to turn it against him. That wasn't even my video. I posted a video by Islam Critiqued. Good job, Islam Critiqued. You just got started and you're already being banned by the glorious nation of Pakistan. Next, Muhammad meets Paul, Muhammad's boom boom room. Paul crushed Muhammad. Next, when Muhammad dreamed about black women. This is another video where all I do is quote Islam's most trusted sources. When Muhammad dreamed about a black woman, he interpreted it as a warning that a plague was coming. Apparently, Pakistan is ashamed of what Muhammad said. Bunch of Islamophobes. And finally, Muhammad poisons everything. He sure does, doesn't he? 
Muhammad poisons entire nations. Three takeaways. First, the most disturbing thing about these endless blocked video notifications is that YouTube reviews both the government complaints and my videos. Pakistan doesn't block my videos. Pakistan submits legal requests to YouTube telling YouTube that my videos are against the law in Pakistan. YouTube then goes to my video to see if it really breaks the law. If it does, I get a notification. Now, here again, I would agree that many of my videos would be considered blasphemous in Pakistan. I get that. But some of my blocked videos are simply me quoting Muslim sources showing what Muhammad said or did. YouTube and Pakistan agree that stating embarrassing facts about Muhammad is against the law in Pakistan. So YouTube is saying, we agree that you can't state certain historical facts about Muhammad in certain countries, even if you're reading these facts directly off the pages of Islam's most trusted sources. So YouTube is actively helping Muslim countries hide embarrassing facts about Muhammad. Pretty creepy. Second, is YouTube getting better or worse? It's getting worse, much, much worse, and we all need to recognize that. YouTube is banning channels, banning videos, labeling content hate speech, even content that doesn't fit any serious definition of hate speech. YouTube is tweaking the algorithm to favor channels that hold the correct views. It's deranking channels that hold the wrong views. The platform is shifting further left on a daily basis, and this isn't going to stop. YouTube is rapidly morphing from cool platform for posting videos into digital big brother. So our days here are numbered. I have backup channels and platforms. The links to my backups are in the description box. And as always, everyone is free to download my videos and upload them to your own channels or to other platforms. I am not stingy about my content. I make it to be shared. Third, it's easy to get discouraged when we see entire nations banning content in an effort to keep entire populations in a state of ignorance and darkness. But there's a positive side. Why is Pakistan banning historical facts about Muhammad? Pakistan is banning historical facts about Muhammad because Pakistan's leaders are scared. They know that Muslims are leaving Islam. They know that young Muslims are asking questions, too many questions. They know that an avalanche of apostasy is coming. These are terrifying times for Muslim leaders. That's why they're scrambling to ban content. They're getting desperate, and it's a pathetic sight to see. But let me say a few words directly to concerned Muslim leaders in Pakistan. Esteemed censors, I know you fear change, but think about it this way. You leaders have screwed up Pakistan so much that just about any change will be an improvement. When you hit bottom, the only place to go is up. So don't fight it. Just give in. Breathe. Breathe deeply, let the information flow, and people's confidence in your fake prophet will evaporate. Join me on the great apostate coaster. I promise you, it'll be an awesome ride. In the meantime, until you stop whining to YouTube like the sniveling cowards you are, I'm going to assume that every time I get a YouTube notification about Pakistan, it's because you're trying to get my attention. I'm a world champion at ignoring people who are trying to get my attention, but when it's an entire nation, especially a nation that promotes terrorism and the oppression of religious minorities, and also happens to be the global capital of honor killings, if you want my attention, my attention you shall have. Look, if Prime Minister Imran Khan wants to meet Muhammad in the Boom Boom Room, just say it. We're happy to have him. We're here to please. I'll put out a casting call this week. The search is on for a Pakistani who can play Prime Minister Khan in the Boom Boom Room. Of course, 
Prime Minister Khan will have to explain to his prophet why he's banning facts about him and why he finds these facts so embarrassing. Mohammed might not like that very much. Or Prime Minister Khan could be so embarrassed by the real Mohammed that he blows up Prophet Mohammed in order to cover up the sad, sad truth. So many possibilities, decisions, decisions. By the way, Pakistani censors, as a general rule, don't mess with a creative genius psychopath who knows what your sources say about that fake prophet you're trying to protect. Trust me, this isn't going to go the way you want it to go. Come to think of it, didn't your prime minister just give a whiny speech about Islamophobia to the United Nations? I wasn't going to watch it, but now that you've got my attention, 